I'm a head of UK Solar and fund manager for the Foresight Solar Fund Limited. I've joined Foresight in 2011, having overseen more than 60 acquisitions in that period, uh, representing more than £1 billion pounds, uh, worth of investment, and I have overseen the commercial management of those projects since. I've been part of the uh, fund management team since IPO, uh, being responsible for asset acquisitions, pipeline development, and a value enhancement of the fund. Before joining Foresight, I worked in uh, infrastructure advisory and lending in Europe and the Middle East, focusing on the energy and transportation sectors. The investment objective is simple, is to provide investors with a sustainable inflation-linked uh, dividend and where possible to enhance the capital value of the investment. This is achieved by investing in large-scale uh, solar assets in the UK and internationally. The fund's return for target return for this year is 6.58 pence per share, which at today's share price represents approximately a 6% yield for investors. In addition, these investments can be held through an ISA or a SIP, which offers a tax-free uh, return for investors. The proposition really offers investors uh, a predictable cash flow profile uncorrelated to equity markets that offers a, a stable income uh, flow for, to investors' portfolios over time. We take a very disciplined approach uh, to asset acquisitions, only acquiring assets that meet investment returns and deliver uh, the right returns on a risk-adjusted basis. Over the years, we've built a, a wide network of relationships in the sector with project developers, with panel manufacturers, project advisors that allow us to target uh, uh, the right assets for the fund uh, in the markets where we operate. Uh, also, one of the main objectives when we uh, focus on acquisitions is to try to diversify the, the portfolio as much as possible, either geographically through uh, panel manufacturers or also in terms of side operators. Uh, as an example of that, uh, last year we've announced our first acquisition in Australia. Uh, we've acquired a portfolio of 146 megawatts that we expect to become operational this year that will enhance the diversification uh, of, of the fund. Um, an example as well on, on, of our discipline approach is, for example, last year in 2017, we've acquired uh, 127 megawatts worth of assets in the UK out of a uh, devaluation of more than 1.8 gigawatts of assets that we reviewed during that period. So that demonstrates as well how focused we are in identifying the right assets for the fund at the right returns. The size of our fund is a, a key point of differentiation. Uh, currently we have 28 assets totaling uh, 674 megawatts uh, and also we have been focusing in acquiring assets that deliver average sizes uh, above what we're seeing in the market. Uh, that allows us to have economies of scale when it comes to the asset management costs and the operational costs that we have uh, on an ongoing basis. Uh, we can then pass those benefits to investors in the form of higher cash flows uh, through the payment of dividends. Uh, also, in terms of the fund size, it's worth mentioning that uh, we have recently closed uh, a placing of new shares. We raised uh, nearly £50 million in the market recently that is already earmarked to uh, acquire a new portfolio in the UK of 134 megawatts. That means that once that acquisition is completed, which is expected uh, before the end of summer, we will become uh, the largest dedicated solar fund uh, in the UK uh, in terms of installed capacity. Um, another point of, of differentiation is the geographic diversity that we offer to investors uh, with uh, the recent acquisition in Australia at the end of last year, which means now that a percentage of the portfolio is invested in international markets and that will allow us as well to, to diversify the cash flow nature of the fund and offer investors a 24-7 generation profile uh, because of the location of those assets in Australia. Finally, I would highlight the group expertise. Foresight is a leading uh, investor in renewables for more than 10 years. We have various offices 
uh, internationally. We have a very experienced uh, investment team supported by a multidiscipline uh, asset management in-house team that allow us to focus on the value enhancement of the fund and optimization of the asset moving forward. In terms of dividends, the firm performed well in line with expectations. In 2017, we paid a full annual dividend of 6.32 pence per share. Uh, this year, we're charging uh, an annual dividend of 6.58 pence per share. Uh, up to 2017, uh, and compared to, to IPO, we've offered a, a dividend growth of 1.8% on an annual basis, which is in line with UK inflation. Also for 2017, the total return for shareholders was north of 7%. In terms of the fund growth, we have now raised uh, more than 500 million sterling uh, in uh, various fundraisings uh, over time, in addition to uh, more than 300 million of debt facilities that we have used to fund new acquisitions and continue to support the growth of the fund. Last year, we had our most active year to date. We've acquired 273 megawatts worth of assets in the UK and internationally. Uh, this year we had a very good start with uh, the acquisition of a 53 megawatt portfolio uh, in April and we have additional transactions in our immediate pipeline that we expect to complete during the course of this year. So, in, in summary, uh, the fund offers investors a stable income stream, uh, offers returns that are uncorrelated to the volatility in the equity markets through a quarterly dividend that is linked to inflation.